Welcome back to our yearly look at some of the MMORPGs we used to play. This time, we're taking a look at Ragnarok Online 2, Advent of Valkyrie. Is it worth it? Has anything changed since the last time we played? Has it been updated? And more importantly, do people still play this game? Join me in this journey as we play the game from the beginning, show you guys the city hub, and go through some of its content. Ragnarok Online 2, Advent of Valkyrie is a free-to-play PC anime MMORPG. And with that said, Let's do this! Welcome back, Saviors GH here. Before we play the game from the beginning, first, what is Ragnarok Online 2 Advent of Valkyrie? It's an anime MMORPG based on the Ragnarok Online franchise. In Ragnarok Online 2, players can immerse themselves in the world of Rune Midgard encounter familiar elements from its predecessor alongside updated graphics and gameplay mechanics. With a range of character classes, quests, dungeons, and crafting systems, players can navigate an expansive world either solo or in groups, fostering a sense of community through social features like guilds and in-game communication. Now, going to Ragnarok Online 2's theme page, they describe Ragnarok Online 2 as a free-to-play fantasy MMORPG that takes elements from the original Ragnarok Online and reimagines them as a three-dimensional modern MMO experience. The standout feature of Ragnarok 2 is obviously its anime aesthetic and the world it offers. Drawing inspiration from Norse mythology, the game presents players with an updated rendition of the familiar Midgard, complete with iconic landmarks and creatures from the Ragnarok universe. Now, Ragnarok Online 2 Advent of Valkyrie was released on Steam on May 2, 2013 and is developed by Gravity Interactive, a Japanese company known for the Ragnarok Online franchise. They are also the team behind games beyond Ragnarok, including Requiem Desiderium Mortis, known to many as Requiem Memento Mori. Additionally, they have developed Dragon Saga, Emil Chronicle Online, Arcturus, and more. Furthermore, they have published one of the best MMOs in Southeast Asia, Rose Online, also known as Russian 7 Episodes. The reception of Ragnarok Online 2 Advent of Valkyrie upon its release was mixed, garnering both praise and criticism from players and critics alike. While some appreciated the game's updated graphics, immersive world, and nostalgic nods to the original Ragnarok Online, others expressed disappointment with certain aspects such as the gameplay mechanics, pacing importantly, and optimization issues. Despite its flaws, many players found enjoyment in exploring the game's vibrant world, engaging in quests, dungeons, and social activities with friends and fellow adventurers. Over time, Gravity Interactive addressed some of the game's issues through updates and patches, gradually improving the overall experience. While Ragnarok Online 2 may not have achieved the same level of success as its predecessor, it still maintains a dedicated player base. Now, the monetization of Ragnarok Online 2 follows a free-to-play model with optional microtransactions. Players have the freedom to enjoy the game without any upfront cost, but they also have the option to purchase in-game items, cosmetics, and convenience features using real-world currency. These microtransactions typically include items such as cosmetic outfits, mounts, experience boosters, convenience items like inventory expansions or bags, potions, and much more egregious ones like refining items or gear upgrading items. Now, here's an update on what's happening to Ragnarok Online 2 nowadays. The main thing that happened for this game is it's now playable without a VPN. Actually, the last time I played this, I was using a VPN and now I just log in and experience the game. In terms of events, the last event they did was in 2022, which was the Valentine's event. And as for the update, it's been 6 years since the game was last updated. The last update was called MVP Update which added world bosses, pets, and legendary cards. Now to show you more of the features, the city of Frontera, there are players there, and what the game has to offer, let's go play the game from the start. Let's go play the game, okay guys? Here's the character creation of Ragnarok Online 2, and here are the classes. We got the swordsman over here. Here's the female version, here's the magician, archer, thief, and acolyte. And, and here's another race over here, the Noel. I played this the last time we played the game, so we're not gonna play as an altar. Here's the male version. Okay, let's go back to the humans. So what are we gonna play as? I already played as a magician the first time we played this. I think that was 
2019, 2020, something like that. Okay, so maybe let's play as um, I wanna play as an archer. No, I'm swordsman, ready. a male swordsman. Ready. Why is your hair pink? Where's the hairstyle? Okay, let's keep the pink hair. And here are the jobs over here, guys. This is basically a second profession. How about let's be a blacksmith? Yup. Now here's the character customization, guys. Appearances, hair color. Let's change the hair color. Okay, purple. Hairstyle. Is there anything good over here? Let's check out the different hairstyle. Okay, so how many hairstyles can we hang? Hairstyle one. Let's back away. Okay, so 15 hairstyles. Let's pick this 15th hairstyle. Now eye color and style and then face style. What? Okay, let's pick this one and then voice. Ready. 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 Okay, let's pick that one. Let's name our character. Name check. Already in use. Damn you guys. Okay, how about 4H? Name check. Oh man, I cannot use. Okay, this one is available to use. Let's start the game. Create. And there goes our character. Start the game. And we are back in the world of Rune Midgard. But it's in 3D. Well, the original Ragnarok is also on 3D. <laughs> okay, so here goes the map, guys. So we are at Mount Mjolnir. How about can we zoom back? Oh, there it goes. Here's west. Here's east. I think we start at the Idrazil Garden if you chose Noel. If you chose a different race, you start at a different area. And here goes Prontera. It's very near. Uh, where are we? We are at the west. So we just follow this road over here to get to East Mjolnir. And I think at East Mjolnir, we can get to Prontera. So how about let's check out the controls, guys. We can move with WASD. Can we jump? Ah, uh, yes, we can jump. What else can we do? Can we sprint? Nope. When I'm pressing shift, nothing's happening. Okay, there it goes. We can also click to move. But here's my main problem of this game the last time I played. I didn't know I couldn't like configure it. But now I do. So as you can see, uh, so anyway, as you can see, guys, when you move, when you try to move the camera, it would go centered to your character. Turns out you can change it in the settings. In here, game settings, controls, and then camera centered control. Then lock camera, apply. So when you click to move, you can now move your camera and it would not center. This is the default camera of MMOs. And there goes our character. So what else can we check out? Let's check out a bag. And there goes our bag. By the way, guys, bags in here, you can buy it in the like general store. There's There are also bags in the cash app, of course. But you can also buy it just in the game using gold. The currency that you earn by just playing. Okay, let's open up the bag. Man, we don't have any beginner support box. This is one of the problems of this game. Because you desperately need a mount here when you start out this game. And we don't have a mount. I think this is it. Temporary storage. Event. Oh yeah, there it goes. Cafra shop. Seven days should be. Coupon randomly. Cafra shop again. What? Seal of Vulcan. Battle manual. 20% more experience. Okay, let's receive them all. But don't worry about the mount, guys. I think if I remember correctly, at level 15, you can buy a mount. I think it's a Peko Peko. It's a, it's around 10 gold, so it's easily obtained. So open up a bag. Open up this ranking reward box. Okay, it's a coupon. What do, what, what do we do here? Okay, anyway, let's ignore that. I think this is for the EXP. Let's use it. Ooh, how many minutes? 24 hours. Okay, okay. So anyway, let's open up the mail. Is there a mailbox over here? So open up the map. Mailbox, mailbox. Ooh, that is not West Mule near. There's a mailbox over here. So we're gonna need to play first before we get to the mailbox. Man, we don't have a mount. I remember getting a mount here. Oh yeah, gravity, war portal. If you're listening, you should give a beginner support box here. If you don't know what a beginner support box, you know, look at other MMOs. This is an old game. You could at least you know, give a boost to players at the beginning. Not those EXP boosts. I mean, like a weapon that can make grinding faster. Maybe also armors and a mount. Because I remember walking a lot here. Oh yeah, there is a Kafra NPC over here that flies. So I guess that fixes it. But still, a mount helps here. Okay, so let's do one of the quests. So I can show you guys the quest. How can I remove this minimap over here? Okay, talk to this NPC over here. Guys, this M over here is a sign that this is a main quest. You can choose to ignore the subquest. The subquest got an S. So it stands for subquest. And okay, before we take it, how about... Let me just back away for a bit. Oh, and as you can see, there are people finding a party over here. 
This game is still active. There's a decent amount of people here. My estimate is around 100 people. Not that much, but still very active. Okay, so let's open up the map. To identify your main quest, just hover. Man, how can I zoom in over here? I can't. Anyway, just hover to this gold exclamation mark icon over here. This one says it's general. That's, that means it's just a sub quest. You can choose to ignore this. But if you highlight the one that's over here, this guy, which is over here, it says important. Emil, school cadet, important, a new day. That's your main quest. If you're struggling to find your main quest, just highlight the icon and see if it's important or not. Because in this game, you, s you can suddenly lose your main quest. Usually, your level is not enough. So you're gonna need to grind or maybe take some sub quests or daily quests. There are daily quests over here. There's a bulletin board. You, you can take daily quests there. So there it goes. Talk to this NPC. So I can show you guys combat, a new day, accept. Okay, so what is that? So to track your quest, you just press this and it will point you to the direction. The quest destination is this blue question mark over here. It's blinking. So let's look for it. There it goes. Well, Fred, give us a quest. Probably it's hunting baby pouring. Okay, a new day. Accept this elite membership. What is this? Oh, seven days. Okay, this one helps. Oh yeah, I think the free mount over here is not on a beginner support box. You gotta have to do it on the quest. I think you get it right around here. I'm not so sure. It's been a while. Oh, accept. Okay, so close this. Why is that minimap always appearing? So our quest is we need to get rid of baby pouring. So combat, guys. Okay, let's zoom in a bit. What's our skills? We got head crush, bash. And provoke. Let's provoke first. And then use the basic attack. There it goes. Why are you facing that way? Okay. We hunted down one pouring. One more to finish the quest. No, not yet. One more. Okay. There it goes. As you can see, guys, we can press tab. The combat of this game is tab targeting. Okay. Let's highlight an enemy and then attack them. This is not the best version of tab targeting, but this is enough. It still kind of feels slow, especially when you're attacking and you, you're not allowed to like look around because your character will also like, look at this, follow the center of your camera. I think you can also do that in the setting. Man, this game, the default should be, how do we uh, character center control? Is that it? Man, I don't want to fiddle with that. Okay, so let's turn over the quest. There it goes. We're also going to check out Frontera, guys. I already have a class if I'm correct. No, this is not the quest, guys. As you can see, this is the sub quest. Close that. There goes the real quest. Let's take it. It's going to give us... And there goes the Peko Peko. Okay, how about let's just do the quest just to get the Peko Peko. Let's go. So we're supposed to go over here. We're going to walk. Okay, guys. So I already got the mount my recording software somehow closed down i think it's because the file size i'm using a different codec now i recently got a new gpu so you know new codec and for some reason it's a bigger file size okay anyway we got the mount i already registered it when you get the mount it's an item and you're gonna open your bag and then use it and then it's going to register in your mount storage and to find your mount storage it's over here menu then you gotta press this down over here and there goes the mount icon you press this and there goes all of the available mounts no not really it's just five <laughs> why is it saying all okay anyway the ones you own are over here peko peko then you can drag this and register it over here there goes our peko peko man this is so wrong you need to be a knight first before you can use a peko peko man these guys they're ruining our memories okay anyway let's take a look at the graphics as you can see in my opinion, this still looks nice. I wouldn't say that this is outdated or, you know, something like that. Usually, anime MMOs age very well. Okay, so I didn't notice that we have some notifications over here. Skill notifier. There goes our skills. So, adding skills over here is very easy. What is this? Magnum break. Let's add one magnum break. Confirm. Add this over here. Maybe... Maybe let's switch it with provoke. There it goes. Close this. What else? We got mail. We need to go to a mailbox. And maybe we get a beginner support box over there. No, I don't think so. Come on, War Portal. Give us a beginner support box. And there goes the temporary box storage. What else do we get here? Okay, the login bonus. And then level up the stats. So this is very basic. <laughs> I remember the last time I played this. I messed up my stats. I have stats in strength and in... <laughs> So let's put strength. 
strike all pure okay so now that we're ready i think i should show you guys frontera i'm gonna switch to my other character which already reached frontera so i'm gonna switch now and here we are guys at frontera it doesn't look frontera at all so let's open the map there goes the frontera map it doesn't look frontera in case you're expecting that frontera looks like frontera and ragnarok online one <laughs> so once you get here look for this flying transportation service over here there are also transportation service in the earlier maps here in west mjolnir and east mjolnir it's in the towns you can use them to quickly travel to places and i'll show you here we go so let's talk to this npc over here so you just click at this broomsticks with wings and this npc will fly you to that location and usually people are around here at the city center that's where you can find the auction and you will see people there so how about let's just go and i'll show it to you guys hopefully there are people there and i think it's night time right now people are not playing most likely and i think people are in channel 2 when you get here maybe switch to channel 2 and see if there are people in channel 2 okay so anyway let's just fly so you can see we're flying look at this this is amazing i never knew kafra flies i thought we we're just teleporting and there it goes and as you can see there's a lot of people over here is this a dead game to you look at this this is channel one usually people are in channel two and for some reason i think they're in channel one and this is the off times as you can see there are people playing let's check them out how about this what's this are you a monk probably what is that a shield or whatever a knuckle duster let's do this a swordsman how about this one a thief you a hammer lady <laughs> with a lollipop in her mouth another night over here let's check out the auction the auction is over here no nobody's over there okay anyway the people are outside and there goes there goes somebody's going to the auction house okay so as you can see there are people playing this game what else can i show you guys there are npcs dancing over here <laughs> i don't know if that's important oh, okay so how about let me show you guys a raid so how about let me just spend a few minutes over here asking people if they're gonna help me do the wolf raid. There's a wolf raid over here, but you know, it's gonna take me a while to finish it alone because it's meant to be done with a party. So it's gonna take me a while. If not, maybe let's just do the culverts. Okay, be back in a bit. Okay, guys, and never mind those players. They don't wanna help me. Nah. I just don't want to disturb them. Okay, so let me just show you guys culverts. Here's the map. We are at culvert. There goes the culvert office. This is very different than the original Ragnarok Online. Okay, anyway, there's a huge pipe over here with a portal that leads to the culverts. Let's check it out. And yeah, as you can see, we got a mount over here. I bought this for 10 gold. Anyway, let's enter this portal. And as you can see, select dungeon difficulty. And I don't know why we can't pick easy over here because we're just a new player. Maybe let us try easy. <laughs> no, we're gonna do normal. Enter. And we are at Coverts. Let's check out the map. Hey, what's happening here? Why is the map just a straight line? Okay. Anyway, let's check out the monsters. Let's see if things reminds us. Okay, there goes the familiar. Let's stab him. See if we can defeat this one. Okay, we can defeat this one. Zoom in. There goes the familiar. And there goes the tarot. What? Why is the name Leona? What the what? What are you doing to our childhood? Why is this Leona? <laughs> uh, what? Look at this monster. There's a raticate over here. A bold ratata. Okay, let's destroy him. Die. Okay, looks like we can do this. I tried the uh, wolf raid. I could defeat one monster, but there are times that they would mob me and I can't. It's just, no, it's not doable. Maybe if I try my hardest, I could, but nah. Man, look at this raticate. He's blocking the way. Let's debuff him first and then finish him off. The first time I played this, I was very confused because most of my skills are dots and debuffs. I thought it wasn't strong at all, but you know, as I learn how the game works, how this class works, it's kind of okay. Ooh, some familiars are ambushing me. Let's back away first because that Ratata is going to attack us. Finish them off. Zoom in. Culvert Toad. Uh, there goes the Ratata. Let's use a potion. If the boss over here is not a golden thief bug, I'm gonna flip. Okay, let's go. Target is dead. Let's not bother with the others. Man, what's the point of this? Are we leveling up? The experience is very low. Jump. There goes a male thief bug and some eggs over here. I kind of want to interact with the eggs. But it's not a monster. Ooh, getting attacked. Finish him off and die. 
Okay, let's proceed. The frame rates of the enemies over here and even NPCs as you get farther, it becomes very low. I think it's to help the performance of the game. Ugh! So there's a lot of ambushes over here. Potions? Potions, bruh. Man, one of the weakness of this class doesn't have... Ah, uh, it doesn't have any AoEs. Okay, finish them off. Let's go over here. Uh-oh. And there goes the cutscene. What is that? That's not a golden thief bug. It's just a giant teeth bug. Okay, so what are we looking at here? It's a golden teeth bug. It's just not golden. What is happening here? Okay, let's see. If there are enemies who's gonna ambush me. Let's one on one this guy. Let's go. Debuff him. Eh, what's happening? <laughs> it's a weak boss, guys. It's very disappointing. And it's dead. And that's Ragnarok Online 2. Advent of Valkyrie in 2024. So is Ragnar Online 2 worth it? If you like what you're seeing, then yes. My only problem in this game is they don't update it anymore. And they don't even do events. But in terms of gameplay, graphics, exploring the game, it's a decent game. In terms of other players, there are people playing this. Don't listen to forums saying nobody is playing this. That's a lie. There's a decent amount of people checking this game out. If you want to see for yourself, at least play and get to Prontera. And look for the auction house. And you will see players there. And guys, do you want to see the latest free-to-play MMORPG news? There it goes on the screen. Leave a like before you go. And this is Gaming Hardcore. See you in the next one.